life. I mean, this lawnmower is loud. And it's got to tie it off so it can stay running while I'm filming. It does have a uh, Shut it off. All right, guys. So this is the mower that I bought. You heard it running a few seconds ago. Um, I paid like it was about five hundred bucks. Um, Four seventy nine plus tax. It's basically five hundred dollars, guys. And uh, as you can see, I'm on the Toro's website. This is the model number. The 21462. That's the model number for this mower. Um, they call it the recycler with personal pace. Um, these things, I remember when you used to be able to get a lawnmower for like 200 bucks, but the last, within the last seven years or so, my last one that I have, I can't remember uh, the brand name on it, but it was pretty good. It came from Lowe's and, and it could have been a Toro or something it had a honda motor on it though and uh it, it was really abused it always sat outside and never covered it up let a lot of people use it um somebody even stole it one time i got it back so you know it it was a good lawnmower it took a lot of abuse if i took care of it it'd probably still be working right now um but yeah th this is the uh this is the mower. Here's uh, some information about it. And uh, it's, the thing says you never have to change the oil. So uh, let's look at some of the features on it and we'll get back to uh, the mower. But just in case you're interested in this, I'll let you see what they say and then uh, I'll show you the stuff that I saw on it. Oh, uh, that's good. I always like to know about the warranty. You know, two year limited warranty, three years guaranteed to start. I, I mean, I like that. I mean, that's worth 500 bucks to me. Um, so the specs, specs on the motor, the mower is, uh, So there's the specs if, if somebody's interested in that. It did come with the mulch bag. Um, okay, it takes, uh, let's say 30. Okay, so that's what we got. Let's go back to the video. Yeah. So, I mean, it starts, you know, it says guaranteed to start, right? And it does, you know, just a, a soft pull starts right up. It's brand new. Um, like I said, it, a couple, it has a couple of build quality things that, you know, they didn't put the sticker on good. The little handles breaking off from day one. Um and uh you know it smoked a lot when i first started it up and uh i i cut i might have put like a half hour on it and put it in my shed brought it back out just now today i went to start it up and, and still you know you know uh white smoke coming out of it but since i've started it up a few times just then when i started it so I can let you hear it run. It didn't. So I, I'll see. I'll try to use it as much as I can. I mean, I don't really have a whole lot. I, I just use it to get around like edges and stuff. You know, places where the uh, like the riding mowers can't get. That that's really all it's for. So it'll probably last me a long time as long as there's nothing wrong with it. It's uh overhead valve looks like whatever the vortex technology is coming on around you'll see that it has the uh no prime no choke and then it says no oil changes 
I don't, I don't know what that means. Oil doesn't last forever, man. You, you got to change the oil in these things. Uh, I have to look that up. I mean, what do they mean by that? No oil change. No oil changes. I don't know about that. Gas cap. You know, regular gas. It came with a bagger. It does have a bagger. Um, I'll probably hook that up because uh, without the bagger and the mulch function, um, and then this lever opens up to shoot in the back. I'll, I'll end up putting on the bag because, like I said, I'm not cutting a whole lot of grass, so I'm not worried about it. Um, after I knock the stuff down from the first time without the bag, then I can maintain it with the bag, and the bag won't fill up so much. So the only reason I don't have the bag on it right now is because... Uh, at the beginning of the season when I got to catch some heavy edges, then uh, it's going to be a lot of grass and the bag will fill up. So, uh, but yeah, um, I'll see if I can show you, Let's see if I can hold it here. And, uh... So it starts real easy, just like my uh, Honda. It's real easy. And then I have my blower out because every time I use it, I just blow it off before I put it up. I just blow it off. But I got it, I got it raised up really high right now for the first cuts of the season. And then I'll drop it down to a to a normal height. You know, this is this is just crazy here. I'll just uh, normally I take stuff back, but, uh, you know, yeah, not happy about that, but whatever, man, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably deal with it. I, I don't know if I'm going to take the lawnmower back for that. I might, I don't know. I've only had it for a few days. You know, I don't think I've even had it for a whole week yet. So, uh, whatever. I don't think I'll take the lawnmower back for that and the sticker. You know, as long as it runs right, and uh, I'll just get rid of this thing. I'll just get rid of that. Because it's going to fall off eventually anyway. I'll just get rid of this. And, uh, you know, I, I don't care about the sticker. I mean, it's, 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 it's just a sticker. Um, I don't know what that is. That, I don't know what that holds for, but I'll probably end up putting a piece of tape over it because I don't think trash is supposed to be able to get into that, whatever that is. You know, there's a couple other holes. So, uh, I'll probably uh, be gluing that down or something so that trash doesn't get into those holes. I don't really know what it's for. Like, it's not like I know a lot about lawnmowers. But anyway, guys, uh, those are my few little gripes about it. But as far as how it works and how it cuts, it's good. This is the uh, self-propelled, like, um, you know, it moves and it's the uh, personal pace. That's part of why it costs so much. Like, if you get one that's not um, self-propelled, then I think they're closer to about 300 and something dollars, maybe like a hundred dollars cheaper. But as you walk, it's a good design. As you put pressure on it, it goes faster, the more pressure you put on it. And then as you, when you see something naturally, you're going to back up off the handle and then the lawnmower automatically slows down the motors, which is pretty cool feature so i like that so so far so good the lawn the, the lawnmower really is pretty straight you know it's, it's just a couple of defects and um uh you know a little cosmetic stuff and whatever with the sticker and whatever it's not really a big deal um the only thing that i i really had a problem with is the smoking of the motor you know it, it does smoke on startup a bit so I have to keep an eye on that 
and uh, I'll see how it goes. Uh, as far as the big part of the yard, I also gave away that riding mower that I had, the Craftsman. I gave that away and I ordered a tractor. Um, I got a one series coming, so I'll do another video when I get that. So I got it with the, uh, you know, it comes with a bucket. I got a 1025R John Deere. So I got one of those coming. Um, those are a little more pricey. I got it with the uh, 60 inch deck, belly mower, uh, front loader, pallet forks, and a box blade so that I can uh, I make a driveway to go around the house and uh, maintain my driveway which is pretty long driveway goes all the way up there we got a bigger tractor that's why i really didn't care about the uh the loader because we got five series sitting right over there by the sand hill that we're working on the uh on the uh the road and uh but i got a box that one has the backhoe and the front end loader on it and uh so i got a smaller one what they call a subcompact tractor that's coming that's going to be able to do some of the other work like you know moving moving trees around you know for grapple using the grapple using the pallet forks using the box blade to do the roads and stuff like that so when i get it i'll let you know but that's what we got guys rv tech pro out